What is up, y'all? Um, it's me, Big Jiggly Balls. A lot of people had a problem with my, with my name. Um, my name is like my gamer tag. I've had it forever. I don't only make Predator content. Um, if you have a problem with that, don't subscribe. Don't watch my videos. Whatever. I don't care. I don't do this to like please every single person. I got called a Predator because that was my username. But if you go back and like watch my videos, you'll see my gamer tag. Is that that's just who I am, who I go by on YouTube. Um, so this guy's name was Bruce. He was 62 years old. Here to meet a 15 year old boy. Uh, I made him call his wife. Uh, talked to his wife, explained the situation, and she was mad at me. I don't understand. Um, this guy Bruce works at a manufacturing place. Like he owns the manufacturing place. I didn't catch where. We got his plates, but it doesn't really matter because uh, when Shiloh was on the phone with the cops, they were laughing. They didn't take her serious at all. Um, the cops, when they got there, said they couldn't do anything. They didn't even talk to the guy at all. They didn't even look at him, really. They didn't talk to him. They just pushed to the side, told us that they couldn't do nothing, and then just kind of, like, walked off. So, I don't know. Everyone tells me to call the cops. I mean, there you go. There's your answer. The best thing I can do is uh, expose these guys. I mean, get their face out there. They're creeps. But I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm not gonna tell y'all what he said in this one, so uh, this video stays up. Just watch the video, find out. All my messages will be on the Facebook page, and I'll plug it somewhere in the video. So I hope y'all enjoy. Um, are you here to meet anybody? No. No. So are you on Grinder? Yes, I am. You're on Grinder, and you're here to meet a 15 year old boy. Yeah, we made arrangements to be here yesterday. You did? Yes. When? Earlier today. Earlier today? And what did you guys plan on doing? Going to Applebee's for having um, something to eat. Okay. Okay. Do you know how old he was? He said he was 15. 15. And how old are you? I'm 62, and I told him there was no way we were going to do anything. There's no way we're going to do anything? Well, you do talk sexual in the chats here. Um... Where's it at? Where's it at? I mean, he's 15. I mean, you shouldn't be meeting with a 15 year old anyhow, right? I suppose. Depends if they're going to do that kind of stuff. You know, it's just, he sounded like he needed somebody to talk to. And I'm trying to find it. It was pretty gross. It was pretty disturbing. Please be careful. Stay home and watch some gay porn and finger yourself till you blow a load. Yeah, that's true. Probably inappropriate for a 15 year old. It is inappropriate. It's kind of gross. It's disgusting. You do, do you see any the problem kids? with that, right? What's that? You do see the problem with that, right? No? You don't see well, a problem with well, that? Well, you're 60 years old. Yes. And you, you're trying to meet a okay. 15 year old child. I wasn't out to look for a 15 year old child. He misidentified himself initially. And when then the conversation started. And then he told you he was 15. Yes conversation should have ended there and you kept texting so what's your real name is it actually bruce yes okay do you have any kids of your own yes sir. Uh, do, you have, do you have a son daughter i have a son and a daughter they're grown adults and what would you think if they were this age doing this 15 years old meeting with somebody who's 62 if i was their parent i would not approve okay so then why are you here why do you think it's okay if they were planning on having sex, I would not approve. They just wanted to meet an adult to talk to. But if the adult was saying sexual, sexually charged right. conversation with your child, would that not be off-putting? Would that not be like disturbing? That's your kid. Yeah, I would not approve of them doing that. Or, you... the, or the child continuing it. Okay, but it's not the child's fault. The child is not fully developed in the head. I mean, that should be your part. You're an adult. You're supposed to protect these children, not groom them or come meet them or have a sexually charged well, conversation with them. I would. I agree on the sexually charged conversation is in, incorrect, but I made it very clear that, that absolutely nothing was going to happen. But you still had sexual conversation. I mean, telling him to finger himself, that's disturbing. I mean, to a, a young man. So, I mean, so you don't, you think it's okay or no? No? I know you're.
there's no way there's no right answer to that question Correct. no i don't think it's probably okay it was a mistake have that you done a big mistake have you done it before no not on there before um how long have you been on grinder a few years i suppose you do understand the consequences of this action right yes no yeah they're pretty dire I mean, it's not okay, like at all. Okay. All my workers. So why, why, why would you feel the need Help. to want to take a 15-year-old boy out to eat and then just talk, but you, you know, had a sexually charged conversation? Because with I was him. worried about him having a conversation with somebody way sicker than having a couple words that weren't appropriate. Sicker than you. If you want to put it that way. That's um, really the only way to put it. I mean, you were pretty skeptical here, so I mean, you told us you're wearing a red coat and a ball cap, so you know it was wrong. I just wanted to see if he was telling the truth. <clears throat> and what if there was a kid here? What would you do with him? You'd hang out with him? Just go to dinner? Like what? He wanted to get something to eat. I figured we'd go talk. And that was it? Yeah. Absolutely. So appetizers and then drop them off. I wasn't going to take him anywhere. He walked there. He said he'd walk back. Okay. Um, did you have intentions to meet with this person again, though? No. Unless you are going to meet someplace to play games or eat some cribbage or anything else. I mean, you told him that you'd be friends with him. I mean, that sounds like a lasting thing. Well, you don't have any children, not children, any young people that are underage that you're friends with. No, I don't. I have a little brother who's 15. If, if somebody came to meet him that was 62, I'd, I mean, I'd want to see that person locked up, right? Or if that was your kid. I mean, you're supposed to protect the innocent, right? Indirectly, that's what I was doing. I was not wanting him to meet somebody that would seriously take advantage of him. In I was not implying doing anything with him at all, ever. But it's hard to believe that when you're telling, you knew he was 15 at the time, telling him to finger himself and blow a load. Inappropriate. Yeah, Extreme. It's, it's very inappropriate. And then... I mean, it sounded like you wanted to have like a long-term friendship with this 15-year-old. I'm just trying to read through here. Mm. I mean, I, I was on here last week and I found somebody. I caught somebody. And I, I mean, I saw you on here last week, too. So you've been on here for a while. I mean, I can't believe that this is your only 15-year-old or younger that you've seen. I've seen you... people that have identified themselves as younger in because they were looking for trouble. So if you turn those people in, why didn't you turn this person in? I obviously should have. So you see that's hard to believe. This one person you decided to just change your whole mindset and not turn this person in. But you turned the rest in. Because okay. you told me that there was a few other people on here that hit you up that were younger. Correct? They have, yeah. And you turned all those people in, but not this one. Mistake. I mean, it's... It was a big mistake. That's why it's hard for us to believe you right now. I don't know where this is going to end, but... I mean... I think you should do the right thing, obviously. You're going to have to turn yourself in. I Sometimes I think there are many, as many sick, in, sick young people as old. I mean... If they're younger, like I said again, okay. Okay. you should be more responsible than a child, right? Okay. Are you married? Are you single? I'm married. You're married? Yeah. You have a wife? Wife. Okay, what would she think? Do you think she'd approve? And you've been on here for a while? Have you ever hooked up with anybody before That's on Grinder? Not really any of your business, but... I mean, I'm asking, because, yeah. I mean, who knows who you hooked up with, children? Never hooked up with children, ever. But so this was the first time? 
I haven't hooked up with anybody. I agreed to meet somebody, and yes, I said something that was inappropriate one time. Okay. So what would your wife think about you being here right now? I'm not sure. I think, would you rather have us call the cops, or do you want to call her and tell her? Because, I mean, this is this is on the registry. It'll be put on the registry for this. I mean, I, I've talked to the Worcester detectives before. They know me. Okay. So... Would you rather just call your wife and let her know? Because you, you're a danger to, like, society, children. Would you rather call her or you want me to get the cops involved? I'm not a danger to society. I'm not a danger to children. But you're talking would... sexually to children. That should have ended when he told you it was 15, right? When that's, he said... that's your opinion, yes. So what would you like to do? Do you want to call her or somebody else? Or do you want us to call the police? Because we're going to follow you and get your plates if that's the case. This goes to court. It goes as entrapment and probably nothing left. This isn't well, entrapment. Most certainly. You were not let on in this conversation whatsoever. Because I know the rules and the regulations. This is not considered entrapment. I've done this before. Yeah. This is my first time. Okay. So... Would you like to call somebody, or do we have to call the police? And what am I going to tell this person? That you're here to meet a 15-year-old child. Somebody needs to know. Because you shouldn't be on Grinder after this. Who knows what you've done prior. But after this especially. So you, I think you should call somebody and let them know. So can you call your wife for us and let her know what you're doing here? Yeah. Okay. Can you call her, please? She's, she's at choir at 7 o'clock at the church. Can you just give her a try? Get over here! You want her to come here? I would just, I mean, she doesn't have to come here. If you just want to call her, let her know. Put on speakerphone for us. Let's go someplace a little further from the aisle. Hi. Hello. Are you alone? Huh? Are you alone? Are you no. a choir? No, I'm at the work desk. Oh, you're still at work? Okay. Well, I did something stupid. So, anyway, I'm at Walmart. Yeah. I came here to meet a 15-year-old and go to Applebee's and have something to eat. Yeah. So. That you were having a sexually Well, anyhow, there's some people here who are basically um, accusing me, which I did, say something while we were talking earlier that it was sexually inappropriate for a 15 year old so they're either going to call the police or whatever you need me? i it's i don't think you I need to come do you, you want her here or no i mean that's all we really needed I what, what's that i didn't hear you yeah I suppose, but I mean. So, who is the 15 year old on the web? Some young guy that located me on a website. Oh my. So, are you in an office or in the middle of the store? We're in the store. Can you just do that? No. No, they said they'd follow me and call the cops. We just want somebody to know. Uh, we want to know what's going on. Um, he was here to meet a 15-year-old. He was having a sexually charged conversation with them. So we figured it was right that he would call somebody um, and let them know what he's doing. It was a 15-year-old little boy. Hi. Who is that? We... 
and we catch predators. You might have seen us on Facebook. Um, we just caught somebody last week and the week before, and we just caught your husband. No. I don't think he's not. He's like, so. But we just wanted him to call and let somebody know what he's doing so he can get the help that he needs. But She's still in work. So, okay. Of course, I'm in the middle of work here, and I'm trying to figure out what you're saying to me. What's so? Your husband is here to meet a 15-year-old boy, and we just want to inform somebody. So what are you doing? Is he under arrest? He's not. Is he walking out of that store? He is not under arrest, ma'am. We are just here to put some light on people that try to talk to children online. Um and get their name out there. And get their name out there? So yes. You're going to run a smear campaign so we can sue you? Yes, your husband is being video recorded. Um, we can probably hang out. I mean, she knows the, the gist of it. She knows what's going on. But let me tell her goodbye. I just hung up on without saying goodbye. Hello, I'm not on speaker. How long till you're off? How long until you're off work? Okay. She's still working. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're, you're not under arrest. Okay. But... So I'm going to hang. I'm going to say goodbye. All right. Finish work. Okay. Well, you guys are fine. I'll let them take it. So at this point, my uh, cameraman, uh, I have no idea why. Um, he must have gotten nervous or scared. Uh, he stopped recording for a second when the cops came around, and then I told him to start filming again. Um, and this is the police side of the um, altercation. There's like text messages and they're like having the action to come here and meet the person because there's no child. Okay. See, it that and it's not us. However, if it was us posing, like doing what you guys are doing and like Catholics and whatnot, yeah. and we would have simply moved them, then yeah, that's, that's a different, um, different, different thing. Yeah, they were gonna, I gave them two whole like cases, all okay. my information last week. And this day We haven't heard anything either. I mean, I'm sure that's going to be something that they're going to you know, turn over to our CIU and going over. No, I, I don't know if it's something that we might take over. And since you guys have this information and whatnot, if we take it over and then we do something about it. But as of right now, since we know the ones that we were in here and have all the evidence and whatnot that we sent these messages or whatnot saying, hey, we'll meet you here at this time and date. We can't leave with you about it. Okay. Okay, well. I mean, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's no, not I mean, a lot we, we, we can get where you're coming from. We do. All right. Anything for us? I mean, no. I mean, I'm sure I'll probably hear from you when Texas again. I know. If, if you have any questions, just call in and see if there's anything we can do or somehow we yeah, could work with us or what. Detectives. I'm sure they can probably give you more information. Okay. Yeah, they took his last video down because we didn't have like police officers in the video right. doing it. So that's why we called you guys so you guys can get here. But no, I got you. Just kind of wanted to be a part of the help. No. No, Absolutely. no. Honestly, not. Like I said, appreciate it. And sorry, there's nothing at this point we can do. You're good. I mean, I informed one of the detectives before I even got here. Like, yeah, that's probably an hour ago just to let them know. Give them a heads up. What did he say? He didn't say anything yet. I mean. Okay. Actually, no, I do have something. Which, also, uh, which uh, detective are you speaking with? 
Hmm? Which detective were you speaking of? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can, you know, touch base with him. Next time I see him, just kind of get caught up on things. So he's a wealth of knowledge, so I'm sure whatever he tells you guys is... Thank you guys. See you. Take care now. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't. I mean, when I said what I said, I didn't mean anything sexual between us. So, I mean, but it is still wrong to talk to the child. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you do understand that. Yeah. And do you think you're gonna keep using these apps? Mm -hmm. No, probably not. Probably not. It's just trouble. Yeah. They probably shouldn't, anyways. You know, you have a family. If you have a family, well, my family relationships really. I understand. Yeah. I understand that, but there's still there's still things that you can do properly that wouldn't lead to this. Right. Um. Do you have anything to say to like anyone? Like, if his name is really Alex, I'm sorry that you know if I offended you in any way, or you know, I just was. I guess. The thing that made me stupid was I didn't want him getting up, with, hooking up with somebody horrible that would kidnap and murder him and rape him. And, you know. Well, that was your intent. It, I mean, yeah. it's just best to leave it alone. Okay. Um, talk to his parents. I mean, yeah. he identified he had problem trouble with that. So just leave it at that. Yeah. From now on, just get off the app. I mean, your wife's gonna want an explanation. I mean, I'm sugar, sure you're gonna sugarcoat it, but. She might she see heard it, all she of it right here in front of you. I mean, but, well, man, so. I hope you learned your lesson. Yeah, I hope you learned from yes. this. Seriously, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. But, well, you take care. All right. Um, and I am sorry if that was if if your whole intention was to have that conversation to try and trap somebody into meeting you, and I mean, maybe but, it was an entrapment, maybe it was. We're just trying to. Finish. I understand. We're just trying to. I understand you. where you're coming from too. All right. I do understand what you're saying. Well, you get why we're doing it, right? Yeah. I guess. I even understand. if you, even if you don't get arrested, everybody knows. So they know that what you were doing, not okay. So I don't know what else to say to you, really. Yeah. Well, all right, man. Yeah. Good luck. Yep. Well, um, cops right here. I guess the police cannot do anything about this scenario. We'll be giving the information to the detectives. Hopefully, they bag him later on. Um, this guy deserves to have some light on him. Um, I agree. Thank you guys for watching. And thank Tyler, thank Shiloh, thank John and Mercedes over there. They were a big help. Um, Subscribe to Daddy Dunn. Subscribe, subscribe to Big Dilly Balls. If you have a problem with my name, I'm sorry. I don't only make predator videos. And good luck. Stay safe. Peace. What's up, y'all? Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, shout out to all my friends. Go check them out. They're cool. They're awesome. Um, I can't wait to make more Predator videos. I hope this one does not get taken down. There is no reason whatsoever YouTube should take it down. Please like and share and subscribe. Turn your notifications on, okay? Turn them on. Because if you if I post a video and you don't see it, you're going to be upset. You know what I'm saying? So please, turn on my noties. If you're a hater, go catch a Predator yourself and tell me how easy it is. Um, this is not mentally like fun it's not it's disturbing it's gross and there's like a lot of process that happens in these videos so if you're a supporter thank you so much i appreciate it i work a full-time job and i also do this um i think it's good content i think these people deserve to be exposed like i said last time so i hope this guy um sees this video him and his wife and his kids and everybody else he's ever known um i stuttered so i had to cut the video um thank you so much for watching Check back 
soon. I'll keep you updated on Facebook. Like I said, like and subscribe.